Okay, geometry, chapter 8, section 3, special right triangles. Um, we're going to talk about two special right triangles, the 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90. So let's get started, and let's look at a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to label this triangle ABC. Now, obviously, it doesn't say 45, 45, 90. We're going to have to use what we've already known or what we've already learned to find that. I know that the box means 90 degrees, and I know that these angles are congruent. Those are the little congruent marks. And so I've got 90 degrees left over. 90 divided by 2 is going to be 45. So this is a 45, 45, I can't like to be that line, 90 triangle. And it has very special traits. Okay, It is an isosceles triangle because it has two congruent, two congruent angles. So it also has two congruent sides. So I'm going to write my cursive L's. Each one of those legs is going to be exactly the same. And then the hypotenuse is going to be whatever the leg is times the square root of 2. Okay, so again, the legs are congruent because it's an isosceles triangle. And then the um, hypotenuse is whatever the leg is times the square root of 2. Okay, so... Let's look at um, let's look at an example real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and erase that, and that, and that, and I am going to say that the hypotenuse is x, one of the legs is six. So how do I find out what x is? Well, if each leg is six, then I'm going to x is going to equal the leg times the square root of 2. So x is going to equal 6 square roots of 2. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Okay, so if they throw some radicals in there, not a big deal. Um, we know that the hypotenuse is the square root of 2 times the leg. So again, x equals the leg times the square root of 2. So in this case, it's going to be x equals 9 square roots of 2 times the square root of 2. Okay. Now, remembering back from radicals, we can only multiply whole numbers times whole numbers and radicals times radicals. So this is going to give me 9 times the square root of 4. Again, I'm just showing every step, which is 9 times 2, which gives me a total side length of 18. Okay, so there's a couple 45, 45, 90 triangles. Um, let's look at one more example, and uh, then we'll move on to the 30, 60, 90. Okay. Now I wanted to do one where it gave us the hypotenuse instead of the leg. And we know that the equation was, um, the equation originally was hypotenuse equals L times the square root of 2. Okay, that's for the hypotenuse. So we know what the hypotenuse is. So now that's going to be 12 equals L times the square root of 2. Obviously, we want to get the leg by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. Okay, now a red flag should be shooting up right now because we know we cannot have radicals as a denominator. And so to get rid of that radical, we're going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2. So that gives me 12 square roots of 2 all over the square root of 4, which is 12 square roots of 2 all over 2. And then I can reduce that finally. 2 goes into 12 six times. So that's going to end up making my leg equal to 6 square roots of 2. And that is example 2 on page 553, if you'd like to look at that.
Okay. So if I labeled this um, A, B, C. Obviously, AC is the shortest side because it's opposite the shortest angle. And so we're going to let that be represented by S. You know, if I could write S. There we go. We're going to let that represent by S. And in a 30-60-90, the hypotenuse is 2S. So it means it's two times as big as the smallest side. And then the second part of our 30-60-90 triangle is going to be the small side times the square root of 3. So again, smallest side is S. Largest side, which is the hypotenuse, is 2s, and then our middle side is going to be s times the square root of 3. So let's go with a, um, just a basic 30, 60, 90. Let's say that, um, let me erase those. And let's say that they give us the middle side is 15. Okay, the middle side is 15. Okay, so the length, and they want us to find the other two sides. So the length of the middle side was equal to smallest side times square root of 3. So we know what the length of the middle side is, that is 15 equals s square roots of 3, divide both sides by the square root of 3. Now remember we can't have a square root of 3 as our denominator so I'm going to break this down here. Multiply top and bottom by square root of 3 and that's 15 square roots of 3 all over uh, square root of 9, which is 3. And so that's going to be 5 square roots of 3. So our smallest side is 5 square roots of 3, because that's s equals. And then since our hypotenuse is 2 times that, that's going to be 5 square roots of 3 times 2, which is 10 square roots of 3. Okay, so our missing sides are 5 square roots of 3 and 10 square roots of 3. So let's look at another example of one of those. Okay, we'll end with a pretty simple one. Uh, the first example was probably as, as difficult as it gets. But the second one, we know if the hypotenuse is 10, we know that the smallest side is half of the hypotenuse. So I know that AC is going to equal 5. And then we know that AB is the smallest side times the square root of 3. So simply put, that's just going to be 5 square roots of 3. Okay, you get a couple of variations of those, but most of them are, are pretty simple. All right, so that's about nine minutes. That is Chapter 8, Section 3, Special Right Triangles.